I actually have like six YouTube channels now and four of them are failures. But I really believe that sometimes you win and sometimes you learn. So they weren't really failures. They were experiments that helped me get greater clarity because maybe as clear as it sounds now, this is a journey of pain, friends. This was a journey of, of like, I don't really know. And maybe it even seems obvious. I look back and I'm like, why didn't I see that sooner? Well, sometimes uncovering that self-awareness, market awareness, the intersection of not just our passions, not just our proficiency, but also what's profitable. And then what I would encourage people is like, work on that right now. What you do is you write down, um, you're looking for thematic overlap. You write down 10 passions that you could think about turning your YouTube channel into. You then say, okay, what out of those 10 passions, what am I also best at? And maybe you you get people you can trust, not your mom if she typically fl fatter, flatters you, but somebody who actually will just give you honest feedback will be like, you're not as good at guitar as you thought. So I'd, cr I'd crush guitar, you know, cross guitar out. But I don't know, you are like, you're really good at crypto. Like you're, you love it, you research it, it fascinates you. Um, you read all about it, you've invested in it, you've played in it, you've had some wins. Crypto is a strength. It's not just a passion of yours. It's also like a proficiency of yours. And then can crypto be, you know, a channel about crypto investing or something be profitable? Are you kidding? It's probably one of the biggest waves, anything in personal finance. So, so if you wrote down 10 ideas and limited down to like four in the proficiency and then in profitable, you might say which one's most profitable or at that point you just pick one. And that is if you're gonna be a business-minded content creator. Where some people get tripped out by this, they're like, yeah, why does it have to be about business and money? It doesn't. It just, if you actually want to make money and you wanna actually have money for the mission and be able to fund your passion and scale this thing and have it be sustainable and even do it full time, you better figure out the business viability of it. And that would actually be, be doing your due diligence in the profitable category, thinking about market size, thinking about is it a growing market or is it a shrinking market? Thinking about the purchasing power of that audience. What's the CPMs of that audience, um, that age demographic, all different things that you could do if you really drill down on research. If you go through that framework, that'll lead you to potentially um, your personal power uh, when it comes to picking a niche on YouTube.